Now we're done with conservation of energy for rigid bodies. We will um, go back to this conservation of energy relations when we go to um, the rotational dynamics because there's one type of problem that we haven't solved yet. At pag natin sa lecture 23. Don't worry. Okay. Um, for, but for the meantime, let's go back to our definition of moment of inertia and let's solve um, problems involving finding the moment of inertia of different rigid bodies about a certain axis. Okay, so that will be the coverage of the of the next few minutes of this discussion. Okay, so let's revisit our moment of inertia. Again, um, the moment of inertia about the center of mass is given. Usually, yung pinakita ko sa inyong table or figure showing all the moments of inertia, um, usually ang given doon ay moment of inertia about the center of mass. However, the moment of inertia is also dependent not just on the shape of the object, but also on the axis of rotation. Or I should say, the, rotation, the, the location of the axis of rotation. So for example, if this is some axis of rotation here, iba yung magiging moment of inertia pag nilipat ko yung axis of rotation na yan. Iba'y maging MOI niyan. It really depends. So, so, the question now is, can we use our knowledge of the given moment of inertia to know that, to know as another moment of inertia away from the center of mass? The answer is yes, assuming that it is parallel to the previous one. So, for example, if um, I have I here, uh, some, uh, uh, some, uh, if you want to determine the moment of inertia about this axis here, at dito nagro-rotate yung object, then I can determine that uh, moment of inertia with the assumption that this one and this one are parallel to each other. Okay? Questions? None so far. So, um, I will not show you the proof on how it is done. But just read the book and do naman yun. And it turns out that if D is the perpendicular distance relative to the um, of the two uh, of the two axes of rotation, then the moment of inertia of the other one is given by the parallel axis to them, which we're in. If I is the moment of inertia um, of an axis that is uh, that has a distance d from, or I should say, perpendicular distance d from the the axis of rotation about the center of mass, and then the parallel axis theorem says that. I is equal to the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus MD squared where capital M is the total mass of the rigid body. Okay? That's the total mass of the rigid body. Questions? Where ang total, ang total mass sa pinag-uusapan dito is yung mass na naka-expose or dun, uh, nakita dun sa malayo. So for example, ito medyo tricky tong problem na to. Halimbawa, meron akong tatlong tatlong, ito given to lagi eh. Halimbawa, I have uh, a rigid body that looks like a, a, um, a triangle. Okay? Tapos, okay. Hinanap ko, for example, yung moment of inertia nito. Ano ni ko consider kong mass? Ano lang ko consider kong MD squared dyan? Yung kasama ba tong dalawang to? Kasama ba tong dalawang to? Di po. Di ba? The point here is no, you don't need to do that. Hindi na, hindi may include yan. Ang kailangan lang ay ito. Importante kung saan yung relative distance. Yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ko dito. The relative distance is dependent on the on the kung paano yung distribution ng masses mo. So yun. Um, for, again, what's important here is that D is the perpendicular distance. So, perpendicular distance yan. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? Wala po. Okay. Sige. 